Lufthansa, and I was like, I asked for a, a front seat bulkhead, and I popped this up. Because it was an overnight flight, I popped this up. There's some in the office, but the back ones is to use the new ones first, and then. I said, the hell with that. The only thing I missed was the camel. That's right. Please join the town board for the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, yeah, I was too long to get up. What Pledge of Allegiance is to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A moment of silence for the troops in harm's way, please. Thank you. Before we begin our meeting, I wish to point out the exits located in the front of the rear of the room. In the event of an emergency, I ask you to proceed to the nearest exit. The Cicero Town Board acknowledges the importance of full public participation in all public hearings. We are here for a urge all to which to address those in attendance to utilize the microphones located in the front of the room. I'll make motions that all taken today, all actions taken today are type 2 or unlisted actions and have a negative impact on the environment unless otherwise determined. Second. Mr. Conway. Yes. Mr. Ms. Tarway. Yes. Mr. Ryba. Yes. Mr. Coral. Yes. Mr. Dzinski. Yes. Number three, due to the fact that our uh, former assessor resigned a week ago yesterday, we are in urgent need of, a, of an assessor to uh, take care of business in an orderly um, fashion within the town. Um, we have one that we uh, would like to appoint, Lindy Yancey, just to give you a little background on her. Um, she's been uh, an assessor since 1992, uh, New York State Assessor for uh, 25 years. She was also a commissioner for New York City for three months. Um, she's right now presently the assessor for Forest Port. Let me get to the page I'm looking for here. <coughs> For Forest Port, she was the assessor for the town of Orchard Park. She's the deputy commissioner, as I mentioned before, for Real Property in New York City. Director of Ontario County Real Property, 16 towns, 46,000 properties from the 2000 to 2002. She has a very extensive background, and that's exactly what we need to clean up the mess that's um, right now present in the town of Cicero. With that in mind, I would just like to make a motion that Linda Yancey. Wait, just, sorry. I want to clear up one thing. I think you, the first line you said she was an assessor since '92, but she's an appraiser since '92. Oh, sorry, I misspoke. Yeah, because that didn't that was that didn't yes. drive. Appraiser since '92, assessor for 25 years. Thank you. I just like to make a motion that Linda Yancey is appointed as acting assessor for the town of Cicero, pursuant to real property tax law section 314, at a rate of $35 per hour, on a part-time basis effective immediately. Second. We have discussion a little bit? Sure. I mean, I know that it's important that we have to get a part-time person in here. But we do have to make um, certain that we have coverage. That is one of the things for, for that office. As liaison to that office, um, I, re I really know that we have to make sure we cover what's going on in there. This part-time person is going to make a good difference. We got to make serious consideration to um, making a, a really uh, educated appointment. I mean, educated, looking for a, a really a, a person with a lot of credentials to take the permanent position in there. I think we have to, uh, when we begin to look for our permanent person, we have to really um, take into consideration some things that the assessment committee. We'll have to um, we'll have to bring forward. I hope they have a, a meeting this coming Wednesday. I hope they will be able to uh, put, br bring forth some stuff that's necessary for us to consider, and that we should take their ideas into consideration. They've worked hard. They did a lot of um, research and preparation in order to to say something to this board that makes a lot of sense. So, so therefore, I'm. That's my input, thanks. And, and just to follow up on that, it's probably not a bad idea when we get to that point of having the uh, 
the citizens committee or whatever sort through help through sort through some of the resumes and whatnot we make certain recommendations to the town board along with our interview process it's probably uh, uh, a wise thing to do but it's also my understanding that, that Linda is very much a, a people person and is willing to help people out with any problems or issues and, and willing to, to sit down with them in order to resolve any issue that they may have concerning their work their assessment or uh, issues or mistakes or things like that so uh, I think it's time to move forward, and, and Linda has uh, graciously accepted uh, um, the, the position part-time, and then we can uh, hopefully straighten out a few things and move forward. Any other comments? Uh, well, she has a very good resume here. Think of a microphone. She has a very good resume here that uh, I think that uh, behooves us not to try it and see if we can come up with uh, some problem solving that we have had and uh, I think as a part-time person we can decide uh, I don't know how many how long we're going to keep her part-time but uh, to see what she does for us. I, I think also you've touched on the most important thing we need to have a people person back into that position it takes the time to talk with people in a friendly and a congenial manner uh, that's been missing for quite a while in that office. And I think it's going to be a welcome change uh, for the people coming in there once she comes on board. Also, she'll, uh, I'm sure she'll lend her input to the uh, committee members also you know, when they make their decision in office about a new assessor. You know, my last comment would be I'm just looking forward to uh, find out what the comments are that are going to be from our assessment committee so that we can uh, use their input, as Charlotte mentioned. You know, we appreciate everything they did. Mr. Winters is here there this morning. You know, Mr. Winters, I, you know, you're doing a fabulous job with your committee. I know you've done some research, a lot of research from what I hear from Charlotte, so we appreciate everything you've done and all the time you've spent uh, to help us in this, uh, in this moment here. <coughs> I'd like to make a motion. We already have. I really have we have in the second. Bill. So. Mr. Conway. Yes. Mr. Ryback. Mrs. <coughs> Tarwaki. Yes. Mr. Ryback. Yes. Mr. Coro. Yes. Mr. Vizent. Yes. Being no further business, meeting adjourned.